Wow. Oh, that's a really good little insight. Ooh, that changes everything. What? What changes everything? What are you talking about? This life, this life that I've taken so seriously is actually a very simple, very fun game. A game. Okay, explain. Explain, explain this game. Well, basically, all you have to do is, like with any game, you have to, you have to try and win. But winning is not winning as in, I, I have to get there or, or I will have failed. It's winning as in, I'm going to feel as good as possible. I'm going to be as joyful as possible. I'm going to fulfill my dreams in the sense that I am going to actualize a life, manifest a life that is fulfilling for me, that makes me feel rich. Not necessarily money riches, but rich. So, how do you play this game? How do you, how do you get there? How do you win? What do you have to do? Well, you basically have all these power-ups all the time. And I got this idea from Jane McGonagall. I just heard a few talks on, uh, on, on TED, TED Talks of hers, and she's a video game designer, and I've had, I've had all these kind of insights about the forgotten game, and then I heard this talk she did about um, how you can uh, make yourself better by playing this game called Super Better that she, she um, invented, and I just thought, wow, that is it, that is just the, the, the way to fit it in to, to my life, and for the past few days I've been playing it. So, power-ups. These are anything that, that makes me happier. Makes me go up a level. Such as? What makes you happier? Smiling is, is one. Looking at someone in the eye is another. Going out into nature is another. Breathing and being aware of my breath is another. Stretching, getting a good night's sleep. Appreciating something. Writing down my dreams and remembering my dreams. Savouring something that I'm eating that I enjoy. Socialising. Taking time out. Loving myself. R reminding myself of my self-worth. Forgiving myself, forgiving others. Complimenting someone. Being generous of spirit. Acknowledging a good feeling and allowing it to blossom. When I'm tired, allowing myself to rest. When a burst of energy comes, riding that wave of energy. Looking up in the sky and wondering at the beauty of the universe. Noticing details, noticing smells, noticing tastes more. Questioning reality. And then avoiding the enemies. The enemies are things kind of the opposite. Such as beating myself up about things, criticizing, gossiping, <sighs> lying around all day and never moving, or rushing around and never relaxing, or never getting out into nature, staying either in a car or in a building, things like that. So, the start of each day, instead of getting up, okay, going to work or going to school or going to the shops or whatever you would do that day and thinking about all the things you've got to worry about, start the day like this, ah, game time. I want to take a breath. <sighs> already feel a bit better. I'm doing well in this game already. I'm going to stretch. Uh, <sighs> that feels good too. I'm doing well in this game. Oh, the enemy is coming of a uh, feeling of doubt or guilt that I'm not doing enough or I've done something wrong. 
how can I avoid this enemy? Oh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to think nice thoughts until I feel better. Ah, I do feel better. I'm feeling really good now. I'm getting the momentum going. I'm feeling really good. Okay, all right. I'm listening to this. I'm listening to this. And I'm, I'm thinking that this is very much um, deluding yourself. That's what you're doing. You're trying to be all happy, happy, smiley, and ignoring the fact that they're really important things to think about in life. I mean, you're obviously quite a reasonably well-off person, one of these people who's, you know, in the top, top 10% of, uh, of the world's wealth or whatever. But what if you were poor? What if you, you were in a country that was um, in, in, in war? What if you were um, ill? You wouldn't be able to play the game then. Answer that one. Well, everyone from whatever state they are in is free to choose how they perceive their life. And I could list many things about this Joshua person's story of life that could be possible reasons for me to be miserable. Things in the past, things in the present, things that might happen in the future. I could find all sorts of things, and all of us could. And I know that might seem discompassionate, but there's this wonderful quote I can't remember exactly how it goes. It's, I think it's, don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive. Because what the world really needs is people who have come alive. And it's so true. There's so many people worrying and feeling guilty and trying to help other people, but doing it from a place of misery, which is not empowered, when there could be people who are Their joyous, kind, good being is just naturally flowing out. Because naturally is the word. We are naturally good people. And when we follow our bliss, we are not going to criticise people. We are not going to trample over other people on our way to success. Because it doesn't feel good. We are naturally going to uplift others with our presence, with our actions. It will happen. So, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. See how high I can get in the game. See how far. Not in the way that if I don't get very far I'll be miserable. But in the way that it doesn't really matter because it's all a game anyway. It's fun. It's all a very enjoyable, kind of unreal reality. Quantum physics tells us that actually when you get right into the, the, the depths of the atoms, matter, this stuff all around us and that we're made of, gets very strange. It doesn't really have a a steady state. It's different when you look at it to it is when it's not being watched. So what are we anyway? Maybe this is all just one holographic illusion. Maybe we could enjoy it as a game. Many are Many, many are.